Some people say that the BDS boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement against Israel is nothing against Israel. It's just a moral action against the policies of the Israeli government to end the so-called occupation of Palestinian land in Judea and Samaria, which is a total lie that I will address shortly. In the meantime, Let's listen to what the co-founder of the BDS Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions movement has to say himself. Definitely, most definitely, we oppose a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. No Palestinian, rational Palestinian, not a sellout Palestinian, will ever accept a Jewish state in Palestine. Folks, as you know, social media censorship is growing. The best way to support our video work for Israel is to subscribe to our video newsletter on pulseofisrael.com and to share our videos. If you are already a subscriber, then thank you. Before I tell you more about Omar Barghouti, the, the co-founder of the BDS movement, let's just shortly deal with the lie of Israel's occupation of Palestinian land. Occupation means that the land was under the control of someone else, so it has to be returned to that original owner. Well, since Israel liberated Judea and Samaria in 1967, who does the world want us to return the land to? Well, they tell us the Palestinians. But there was no sovereign power called Palestine in control of the land in Judea and Samaria in 1967. And never in all of history was there a sovereign power called Palestine in control of that land. So bear with me as I take a moment to figure this out with all of you. Who should Israel be returning this occupied land to? Well, Israel liberated the lands of Judea and Samaria from the illegal Jordanian occupation of that land in the 1967 Six Day War. There was no Palestine or Palestinians. It was occupied by the state of Jordan. And all the Arabs who were living in Judea and Samaria had Jordanian citizenship. They did not even identify as Palestinians. After Israel liberated Judea and Samaria from Jordan, Jordan actually renounced all claims to the lands and rescinding Jordanian citizenship from all the Arabs who were living there. Another interesting fact is that never during the 19-year illegal Jordanian occupation of Judea and Samaria between 1948 and 1967 was there ever a demand from the local Arabs for the establishment of a state called Palestine. And no such demand from the Arab world or the international community. Okay. So let's go further back in history. Who should this land get back, give, be given back to? Well, before 1948, Judea and Samaria was part of the British Mandate of Palestine, in essence, occupied by Britain. And before that, Judea and Samaria was part of the Turkish Empire for hundreds of years, an empire that no longer exists. So, in essence, there is no sovereign entity for Israel to return the lands of Judea and Samaria to. The British are the last entity that still exists today that had legal sovereignty over this land, and the British don't want it back. Remember, the British gave their mandate back to the United Nations, which led to the 1947 partition plan that the Arab world refused to accept, not the Palestinians because they didn't exist back then. So factually speaking, Israel basically liberated our ancestral lands in Judea and Samaria, a landmass that has been constantly occupied by foreign powers since the Romans destroyed the Jewish Empire and exiled us 2,000 years ago from our homeland. Now that we got all those facts out of the way, now let's meet BDS movement co-founder Omar Barghouti. As his Wikipedia page states, Barghouti was born in Qatar to a Palestinian Arab family from the Barghouti clan. And at a young age, he moved to Egypt, where he grew up. In 1982, he moved to the United States, where he lived for 11 years and earned a master's degree in electrical engineering from Columbia University. In 1993, he moved to Israel, following his marriage to an Israeli Arab woman. He holds Israeli permanent residency status and lives in Akko, right? The Israeli city of Acre. He holds a master's degree in philosophy, ethics, and get this, from Tel Aviv University. That was the, his Wikipedia page. So, this anti-Israel activist actually lives with total freedom in Israel and even has a master's degree from an Israeli university. And this man is one of the leaders of the movement to destroy the Jewish state of Israel, as he says himself. Definitely, most definitely, we oppose a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. No Palestinian, rational Palestinian, 
not a sellout Palestinian, will ever accept a Jewish state in Palestine. So back to the Ben and Jerry's controversy. Ben and Jerry's were heavily influenced by the BDS boycott, divestment, sanctions agenda of Barghouti. Even though publicly Ben and Jerry's is only boycotting Judea and Samaria, in reality, the company wanted to totally boycott all of Israel. As an article in the Jewish Journal lays out clearly titled, Ben and Jerry's board head says parent company didn't seek their approval to say they will continue in Israel. The article highlights a disagreement between the Ben and Jerry's board and the parent company Unilever. The article states that Anurda Mital, forgive me if I mispronounced her name, who chairs Ben and Jerry's board, told NBC that they didn't want the official statement to say anything about Ben and Jerry's staying in Israel because they wanted to totally boycott Israel, not just Judea and Samaria. Interestingly, who is this Anurda Mital? Well, here are some of her tweets. This is a person who protested President Joe Biden supporting Israel's right to self defense. As she tweeted herself, defend Israel against what? This woman has so much hatred towards the Jewish state of Israel that she is totally blind to reality. Her hatred blinds her. Here's a tweet where she is protesting military funding to Israel because obviously in her eyes, Israel doesn't need to defend ourselves. So no need for military aid, right? Let's just let Hamas and Hezbollah and Iran attack us whenever they want. Then we can't do anything. And this tweet, where she is supporting investigating Israel for war crimes. All this while she tweets nothing, zero, zilch, about all the terror and rockets that our enemies fire upon us. Is it any surprise that this head of Ben and Jerry's board wants to totally boycott Israel and follow Barghouti's BDS anti-Israel movement to destroy the Jewish state of Israel? Well, two US congresswomen tweeted public support to this Ben and Jerry's decision. Here's Cori Bush. I know where I'm getting my ice cream today. Who's coming with? And then Rashida Tlaib retweeted Cori Bush. Well, I have a message for these US Congresswomen. First of all, they are siding with evil and terror because the cause called Palestine is not just anti-Israel, it is anti-America. And here is a little reminder with video footage shot by Associated Press, AP, on September 11, 2001 outside Damascus Gate in Jerusalem, showing the Palestinian Arabs celebrating the horrific Twin Towers terror attack that murdered over 3,000 innocent Americans. And finally, a message to all Israel haters working so hard for the Jewish state of Israel to be destroyed and Jews to be killed, whether by terror or by BDS economic terrorism. Israel and Jewish people survived the Egyptians 4,000 years ago. We survived the Romans 2,000 years ago. We survived 2,000 plus years of exile and persecution, including the Holocaust. We survived the 100 plus Arab Muslim wars and terror against us here in the modern state of Israel. We will survive this Ben and Jerry's ice cream economic war as well. We, the ancient Jewish people, are back as sovereign in our eternal and ancestral homeland, and we have a very, very bright future ahead of us. Too bad our enemies ignore learning from history. Remember, those who bless Israel will be blessed, and those who curse Israel will be cursed. They are choosing to be cursed. Am Israel Chai. We move forward, folks. We're building a great world. Side with us and get all your friends and family to know the truth to side with us. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.